cloud platforms from infrastructure to advertising do not make it easy to track your assets. The result, you have to do a lot of manual work just to keep on top of it all. Just so you can ensure things like security is up to scratch and you don't have any unused assets burning a hole through the budget. Hi, I'm Tim and I'm going to help you automate all those overheads into an easy to query database, bringing your cloud assets in line with your infrastructure management goals. Cloud Query is an open source tool that enables you to turn your digital infrastructure into queryable SQL tables. It supports infrastructure platforms like AWS, GCP, Azure, and DigitalOcean, but also other platforms like Shopify, Stripe, Salesforce, and many more. This video is targeted at platform engineers and DevOps, but we have more videos coming. So if you're into data analytics and dashboard design, give us a follow and drop a comment with your content requests. Now, there are many ways to deploy Cloud Query, but if you're like me, your instinct is probably to deploy it to an existing Kubernetes cluster. So let's get started and dive into building the Kubernetes manifests. Before we build the Cloud Query Kubernetes manifests, we need to create a Kubernetes secret containing the environment variables required by the DigitalOcean plugin. To do this, we'll use kubectl create secret generic Cloud Query secret and then our literals. Now we'll start by building a cron job. A cron job is a Kubernetes object that allows you to run a job on a schedule. In this case, we'll run Cloud Query every day at midnight. So I'll set the schedule to 0, 0, star, star, star. For the job template, we're going to add a single container and tell it where to get the secret environment variables, how to attach the config map, and provide it with some args like where to find the config file we just mounted. So here's what that finished cron job definition is going to look like. Next, we need to define a config map. A config map is a Kubernetes object that allows you to store configuration data separately from the pod specification. In this config map, we want to define a Cloud Query config file where we can specify a source and a destination. The source specifies the resources we want to query and the destination specifies where we want to store this data. In this case, we're using the DigitalOcean source plugin and a Postgres output plugin. Here's what our finished config map is going to look like. Finally, we'll hit it with kubectl apply, and that's it. We now have Cloud Query running on Kubernetes. From this point, you can use dashboards and analytics tools like this one in Grafana to get a greater understanding of your cloud assets. If you'd like to see more tutorials, demos, and news from us, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. Thanks for watching and happy querying.